and what is up dear friends technical stinkers here checking in on the 3d print operation for today quick exposition i own a business and i was like hey 3d printer is pretty cool maybe i can make a little side hustle startup thing and incorporate it into my existing business which has nothing to do with 3d printing and so i'm doing it here at home to try to suss out whether or not it works so i'm trying a bunch of different areas a bunch of different things getting a sampler of uh, all the areas of 3D printing, both functional and art stuff. So I'm a total novice. This is just ex just exhibition. So follow along in this process, subscribe to the channel, been doing some giveaways here. Check the link below, currently have a giveaway going on. Let's see what I'm working on today. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I ran out of filament in the night and I replaced it. And a lot of these are big prints that take a long time. So everything is still printing. Unfortunately, I really don't have much to pull off the printers. That'll be for tomorrow's video. I guess today's video will be pretty short. A Saturday video, you know, not a lot of people watching YouTube on Saturday anyway. So that leaves a little something to uh, go into the Sunday stuff with. But right here, we've got the middle section, the drum of the Colt Python giant wall art pew pew, character model thingy, character model thingy, rolling tray thingies down there, burning up spools. My new shelf should arrive today so I can get this stuff organized. Someone was saying I should do a, a rip rack system for the spools, the open spools. And once I get the shelf in, I might do that. But I'm thinking here, once these things uh, finish their prints, which that I think has got another maybe like 12, 18 hours on it. I think what I'm gonna do is the Soval doesn't have a lot of clearance here, but there is a little room up here, maybe another this much. So I could move the rack up maybe like one or two notches, tuck the Soval up inside and that way I can bring this shelf up higher and then that kind of gives me some like not so much more room but it brings it up higher so my old man knees don't have to get down here and I kind of don't like my nicest printer down here on the floor so I think I might swap it up there move the a1 in there or maybe even move the a1 back in my office just so I can do like quick prints on it not sure still kind of deciding what I want to do about that over here on the Soval, this is the grip section uh, like a, the sides of the Colt Python model I'm doing that with this Elegoo wood PLA. So it says it has wood fibers in it. Just looks like basic beige PLA to me, but who knows? This is for the glamp, the uh, gun lamp. Uh, doing this one in color, just a two-tone. We're doing it with this uh, brown and with this gray. Just nothing special here. Just kind of doing it and seeing how it works because honestly, I think maybe just the straight up black gun model might look better but doing it in color just to see what kind of reaction we get character model don't talk about that and so like i said probably pretty short video today saturday video because a lot of stuff hasn't come off the printer and i'm going to be doing some organizing but again i'm going to kick it over to my future self tomorrow morning to see how it worked out all right and a firmly 100 percent it is the next morning let's check in and see what came out so over here on our uh, rolling trays to burn up uh partial spools got ourselves a nice little red white and blue in honor of the uh the incoming administration uh, rolling trays here came out pretty good even though considering i was worried about layer adhesion because of like the age and the brand and the maybe some of these spools are pla versus pla plus but pretty uniform and consistent so that's a win there middle section of the coat python here coming out pretty good those are quiet so balls quiet P1P is still doing the character model down there. You can kind of see maybe what that's going to end up being. And for the glamp, the gun lamp, we did a full color print of a smaller version of the Colt Python. Did it in just basic brown and gray. Uh, so I'm going to peel off the supports. Let's go peel off the supports and slide it on a lamp and see if it looks good. All right, and so here is the glamp v2.0 the vlamp model c model color uh so again a simple gray matte gray probably would have worked a little better if maybe they have like a slate gray or a darker gunmetal gray um and also this you know that um the wood coloration uh pla that i'm using for the big model might have looked a little better on this it's a little more cartoony uh and the black lamp maybe it looked better on like a brown lamp or a brass or something like that but overall, it's not too bad. I mean, it looks like you can grab it and kind of, you know, like <laughs> license to uh, illuminate, I guess. Uh, so that's that. Honestly, I think I like the black one a little better. 
Uh, it's just a little more elegant, refined. Maybe you can make it, I can make it a little bigger. Um, this is about as big as I can make it with the, uh, the bamboo, but if I'm doing it all in black, I could probably do this on the sew ball, something a little bit bigger, uh, because I need to stand it. Like I'll put these on the Etsy, uh, and I'm probably going to, I'm thinking of pricing them pretty aggressively, uh, but with plenty of room to make sure that it's not even close that I, you know, to turn up profit, you know, assuming Etsy fees and shipping and the sales tax that I pay on Amazon and things like that. Uh, but this is truly a take it off the plate, put it in a box and ship it type thing. And I'll take the lamp out. I'll, I'll probably even assemble it and just put it, you know, in the box like this, a bunch of packing material around it. So it just comes out. People don't have to put it together. Um, I could maybe do the gun. That's maybe that, maybe that's what I'll try next. Cause I got a bunch of that copper and a bunch of that brass, uh, PLA. So what if I did like the whole model in like the brass or the copper might have a cooler vibe. Uh, but Hopefully getting this on the Etsy today, if you'll notice, you know, keen observers probably noticed the hammer is missing on both of these. And I think that has to do with the model. Um, on the bigger versions, I, uh, I sliced it up so much and put print a bunch of primitives in place. But on these, it's just the straight model. So I think maybe the hammer, uh, there was just not enough contact in there. So it's missing on both. So I need to do some correction there. And you can buy these in a two-pack. I'll call it the dual wheeled. Uh, what's a good pun for light? The dual... The dual lumen uh, pack, you can get two of these. Uh, kind of flanking, that might be a nice vibe, huh? Anybody? Uh, so I'll probably try a third color, try to get it on the Etsy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Color or just solid? A little more elegant this way? Or do you want something a little more cartoony? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And so like I was mentioning in yesterday's video, I'm thinking of doing like a, the weekly recap thing. I'll just kind of uh, shoot it on my good camera and kind of recap some of the episodes from the week go over the lessons I learned and uh, what kind of shifts in the strategy and shifts in the mindset I have going now. Uh, so I'll put that out probably, I guess Sunday is a good day for that. Um, eager to know your thoughts on that. Don't forget, I've got a filament giveaway going on, link in the description below. Again, I appreciate all the new people subscribing to the channel, all the views. Be sure to like the video because it's the nice thing to do and subscribe for more content like this. I'm the Technicals, see you next time.